farming in the operation that I farm in, I get to be around my family uh, almost 20 hours a day, 362 days a year. <laughs> That's one of the more enjoyable parts about it, actually, is, is seeing everybody every single day. The other highlights would be uh, taking something that's a little seed, putting it in the dirt, watering it, fertilizing it, watching it grow. It's one of the most rewarding times of the whole process is, is harvest. Get a hundred up by seven north and plant that rain that we found and then head to L7. Technology is a huge key to success for us. We're stepping into what I call digital farming. We've got more tools out there in the field instead of relying just on my memory of, hey, that circle over there has got a bad spot. Now I've got a digital map that can show that and help me make that decision and move forward. We use probably daily six, seven apps at least. Me and my brother Mark, we constantly have an app up that we're watching in operation while we're doing something, you know, more important, something that someone couldn't do. You can watch it as it happens now and not even be in the tractor, you can be somewhere else and see that, you know, hey, this isn't an inefficient operation. I need to go over there, get somebody in line, you know. Because of some of the new precision agriculture tools, it improved yield and it's also uh, improved my efficiency as far as um, operating costs. One of the cooler things that we're starting to use is a drone. Uh, we're starting to, to fly our fields on a regular basis to see uh, what we can do to try to correct some problems in season while the crop is growing. It's not like your old race car, RC car that you had and wrecked into the wall. It's, it's more sophisticated than that. It takes a lot of, a lot of hours. We don't necessarily make money by, by the hour. We make money by acres, by years. It's a marathon, it's not a, a sprint. And that's what it takes to get food on everybody's table.